Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another video. I'm so glad that you tuned in today because I am going to show you a cute and simple way to track your habits, your cleaning schedule, and your morning and night routine. So if this is something that you would like to uh, do yourself or copy this template, then please stay tuned because this video is for you. All right. All right, so let's get right into it. All right, so we have here a list of trackers, okay? And for those who like to track their morning and night routine, then this routine tracker right here is something you would probably like, okay? So all you have to do is click into your um, routine here and it comes up with a calendar. Uh, you can change the view depending on how you like it, but I like the calendar view where I could uh, easily check it if I'm done. But with this particular one, I do have one where you could, it's more of a habit tracker, we'll get to that later. But this one here in particular, you do have to click on the actual morning routine and key in your morning routines here. I already have some already listed. And then a cute note um, here about a specific, uh, you know item in your routine for instance if there's certain face cleaner you use you can put it down in your notes or uh, if you want to plan out your outfit you can put it down some pictures or a high however you like to do it but in order to complete this list um, you do have to check it here and then when you've checked everything here you would click your done box here and that is it for your morning routine let me go back to your routine tracker really quick and if you go ahead and you see that it is done there and then you would do the same for your night routine go through your little checklist here write down any notes that you have about any particular um, item in your list and then once you complete them all you can hit done here go back to your routine tracker and you would see okay now for these, you do have to duplicate them for each day, okay? A way that you could duplicate them is by simply highlighting the ones that you want to duplicate. Like if it's your morning routine, highlight them, hit duplicate, and it's going to um, bring them all in this corner here, which is just fine because all you have to do is move them up actually yeah you would just move them down to the next day so you'll have a whole bunch of them to just move over and do a quick little move okay all right and that's all your morning routines and then you would do the same for your night routine you would highlight them hit duplicate it's going to bring them all over to the side or under each day there and all you have to do is bring them, bring that extra one down. Okay. And it's really easy to just copy and paste. So that's how you would continue to place them on a certain day. And of course, the day um, will change to whatever day that you place it on. And this particular morning routine, I have it scheduled for... A certain time of the day um, usually between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. you can make changes to that and on my night routine I usually have it scheduled for 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. and it's going to remind you five minutes before that time okay so all you have to do is put in the time that you would like so yeah for the night routine we have it from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. You can make changes to the times here and just hit done, okay? And if you wanna change how soon you wanna be reminded, you can go in and change it there, okay? So let's go back to our main page with all of the trackers on it, <clears throat> okay? Okay, next we're gonna to go to the cleaning tracker. 
And on here we have uh, two different pages. Uh, one is a focus area, okay? And you you can put a specific time um, where you wanna focus in on a certain area, it's up to you. And I have um, the focus areas here. All of the focus areas, you can change these out if you like, but it's er almost about every area in your house that you would like to focus in on for a particular day. That's that. And then when you say, hey, I got to focus in on the kitchen, you can put in here exactly what you want to do in that particular area, okay? So if you go back to the cleaning tracker, I do have um, a daily cleaning list that you do regardless. It's just something that you routinely do every day. Um, it's the same thing every single day. You gotta make sure you wash the dishes, clear the table, vacuum, tidy up, and maybe clean the tubs and stuff just to get ready to you know, shower or take a bath. Um, so I just listed a few things that you would do regularly every single day. So you can go in and you can change these out if you like. And if there's some notes that you want to use down here at the bottom, maybe specific things that you use for cleaning each area um, that, that you can post right in there. Okay, and if you go back to the cleaning list, another way that you can um, duplicate these is the same way you want to just hit duplicate and take it to the next day and you can do that for your focus area and your daily cleaning list and once again once you're done um, you would check all these off and then check done here okay for instance and and it'll be done and if you finished everything in your focus area which is the kitchen you can also hit done there and that's it for your cleaning tracker. Let's go back to the main page. Okay, now we're gonna focus in on the habit tracker. All right, and here is just a, a page with a list of the habits as properties. They're not gonna be down here in the main um, page. They're gonna be up here in the property area. You can change these out um, just by changing the name and so on and so forth. But I have um, just a few of them already listed here and you can change them out if you like. I have um, a water tracker and basically at the end of the day, you'll just put in how much, how much water you had, okay? which is not bad. So you have those. And the good thing about this particular habit tracker is you can click them on the calendar if you've done it. You don't have to go in on the page, only if you wanna change how much water you had. Um, then you're gonna to have to go in, into the page and change the amount of water that you have for that day, okay? But just like before, you just duplicate these and you place them onto another day, okay? So let's go back to the main page. Okay, now that we're focused in on the main page, if you scroll down, it'll have everything that is due for today. And as far as your routine checklist, it'll have it here if you want to automatically go into it, check off your um, checklist and hit done and then go back to the main page and everything here will be done okay um, now this is all going to generate well I got this filtered for it to only show the items that are due for today if this is on today then it's going to show here when tomorrow comes it's going to go away to what's for tomorrow okay if that makes any sense. <laughs> so the same thing for your cleaning checklist is gonna have your focus area listed here for what you put in for, t for this day. And it's gonna have your daily cleaning list, which is an area that you focus in on every day. Okay, and then your habit list is going to be here for today. All you have to do is check it and then tomorrow is gonna regenerate a new one, okay?
And if you go in and put in your cups of water and then just hit back, it's going to show you that. And then tomorrow is going to generate you a whole new list for your habit checklist. Okay. So that is all for today. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm so glad that you guys tuned in today. So if you like more videos like this, you may want to check out some other videos that I've done about habit tracking. So I appreciate you and thanks for tuning in today. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye bye.